Um, I think the most important thing um, that I've said, I guess, in the discussion or that we talked about in the discussion today is about lines of communication for young people and to having lines of communication with them open, whether they're in front of you or whether they're at home. And no matter what issue we've talked about or what issue has happened for children that we may or may not know about, we need to be a constant, as safeguarding and professionals, we need to be a constant in their lives. They need to know that they can come and tell us and that they will have an appropriate response to them. Um, and we need to give them opportunity to do that. So when they come back in um, September after the holidays, don't assume that they can rem that they remember that they can talk to anybody about their concerns or this member of staff is helpful for this thing. Um, to induct them again. So as part of your your kind of processes for getting children back into school, make sure that that safeguarding is on that induction and, and what you need to what you can do if you need to seek help or if something's happened to you over the course of lockdown. Um, and then if children, if we're in a situation where there are children not at school, um, then it's about making sure that you're contacting them and, and having those, you are taking responsibility for those lines of communication rather than putting that onto the child to seek help if they need to. I think that's, that's what I want people to take away as the kind of most important point really um, for safeguarding during this time.